Mountain springs are the only reliable source of water for countless rural communities in the Himalayas. In the Tengdong Hill region of Sikkim, perennial springs once met all domestic and agricultural needs. This region, which receives less than the average rainfall of Sikkim, is now experiencing water stress as natural springs begin to run dry during lean periods. Sikkim, with its high forest cover and low population density, has always been a water surplus state. Therefore, creating artificial groundwater recharge systems was not a historic priority. But increasing water stress in such regions has prompted the government of Sikkim to promote spring shed development for ensuring water security in vulnerable areas. GIZ, through its CCANER project, has supported Sikkim spring shed development efforts through a two-pronged approach protecting spring sources and soil water conservation in targeted recharge zones and developing village water security plans to ensure water availability and equitable access during lean periods. In Tengdong Hill region, hydrogeological studies helped identify water recharge zones that fed 22 major springs. Geology Location and structure of rocks and fractures were carefully studied for selecting these zones. Government officials were trained as para-hydrogeologists to carry out scientific surveys in the region. They were also trained to monitor base flows and quantify the impacts of interventions. The village water security plans were created by Sikkim's Rural Management and Development Department through a participatory process. These plans mapped the demand and supply of water with local communities of the Tengdong Hill region. Strategic capacity building and engagement were carried out to facilitate participatory planning and water budgeting. Soil water conservation measures were carried out in collaboration with community members in the area. These measures were funded from the state MG Narega program, which is also supporting the scale up of spring shed development activities across Sikkim. So Dhara Vikas program we basically started in the year 2008 as a rural management and development department. One of our mandate is to provide drinking water supply to the people of Sikkim in the rural areas. Now, when we went for developmental works in the rural areas, people wanted water because the water in the spring was dry. Not much work on Dhara Vikas has been done in other states before, so we didn't have a model to follow. So we came up with our own uh, logical thinking saying all the springs especially in South Sikkim, they, do not, they are not snow fed. So the only uh, recharge that takes place for the springs is rainwater. Because of the climate change, we were experiencing heavy intensive rainfalls for a very short spell of time. Now because of this, the water was not getting sufficient time to enter into the soil. So we thought how best we can uh, prolong this uh, time for the water to get into the soil because 80 to 85% was going as runoff. So we uh, started our Dhara Vikas work. We started with capacity building. Initially, we had PSI and Aquadam help us. First did our project in 2011-12. We started our work in the Saddam Hills. So GIZ helped us by doing a technical study in the Tendong Hills. The Tendong Hills has an area of more than 1,000 hectares. Now, we cannot go up digging trenches in the 1,000 hectares there. So which area would be the most best for us, to best suited to dig these trenches? We needed to know. And because we do not have intensive geological studies here, we will have to go to the field and find out and the GIZ hired an, uh, an institute to do the study for us and that really helped us a lot because instead of uh, spreading our work over 1000 hectares we had to dig only in 100 hectare and that was economically very beneficial for us. To facilitate the replication of the spring shed development model across other geographies, the Dhara Vikas poster and the Dhara Vikas handbook were developed as pictorial teaching aids. These offer easy to follow steps for communities to undertake spring shed development activities. These experiences are now being shared with other states as well as with neighboring countries like Bhutan. The results from the spring shed development activities in Sikkim show that scientifically harvested rainwater in mountain areas can provide effective recharge for springs. 
and as local communities participate in monitoring base flows and building rural water security they enable enhanced community resilience against climate change impacts